Hey guys, this is Bash Prime, and I'm going to teach you how to uh, get the Alcove item, which normally has Space Jump Boots, um, much earlier than intended. You can actually get this as your first item without needing anything else. Um, we're going to do a trick called a dash. Uh, more specifically, we're going to do a scan dash. Although, if you don't have uh, the version of the game that allows you to do this scan dash technique, um, there's, an, there's an alternate strat you can do instead. Um, that's a little slower, but it works the exact same way. You're just dashing off an enemy instead of a scan point. The way that dash jumps work, or dashing works, is uh, you can do the side hop here. It's uh, kind of like Ocarina of Time, where you uh, kind of leap sideways kind of fast, and then you just land right back on the ground. Um, pretty useful for like dodging enemy enemies from shooting you or uh, charging into you. Um, the game kind of tells you how to do this during the uh, beetle fight before you get Morph Ball. We can take advantage of this, though. If you let go of your, of your strafe dash about halfway through, as you're like jumping and not falling down. Um, I guess even if you're falling down, ideally you want to be letting go about halfway into this this side hop, right? You'll just leap sideways, v going very fast and uh, traveling a large distance in the process. And this is what allows us to reach this ledge without needing any other items. Um, so what you want to do position-wise uh, first is you want to stand, for beginners, I recommend standing on this engine here, this, this gray part of the ship. Um, being on the right hand side helps just because you're closer to the ledge, it makes your dash a little bit easier. Um, and then you want to pull up Scan Visor. Uh, if you, there's two scan points you can lock onto, um, that are in front of you. Uh, there's this one with the moss, like blue moss on it, and then there's this like red plant called a Red Starburst that's just above the, and to the right of this door that's, uh, that's across the room. Uh, this is the scan point you want to use. Don't scan on the moss, or don't lock onto the moss because it'll, you won't be at the right angle and you'll just sort of dash in between the door and this the ledge that you want to land on uh, this is the scan point you want to lock onto always um, so again you want to stand on this engine lock onto this guy uh, this red plant and then input the dash so we're going to move sideways flick b or press b as fast as we can and then let go of l about i think optimally it's about uh seven or eight frames for this particular dash uh, most dashes are going to be around that same timing uh, for those of you that play, like, Super Smash Brothers Melee, like, competitively and know how to wave dash, um, it's about the same timing as, like, uh, Bowser's wave dash. It's it's a pretty slow wave dash, right? So you have this, like, staggered timing where you press B and then, like, a fraction of a second later, you'll let go of L. And then you also want to let go of, um, of the control stick. But I'll get into, I'll get into, like, what makes a proper dash and how, like, you can consistently get up on this ledge. So... Um, mistakes that I see beginner players make is um, you either press B for too long, and right there you'll see that you just you just get no height, and you'll you'll run to the side of the ledge as opposed to being able to clear it. Um, you you want to like sort of flick the button and press it as fast as possible as opposed to like holding it down, as you can see on the like the the GameCube controller like input display I have on the left. Um, if you hold down B for too long, by the time you start dashing to the right, you'll be falling down. You want to be gaining height as you start your dash. Um, so flicking the B button, or tapping the B button as fast as you can, allows you to just jump higher during the sideways dash. Um, another thing I see players make mistakes on is, uh, this is, I guess this is less common. Usually it's the, it's, uh, it's two things. It's either the B press, or it's that you turn. Uh, but I'm going to get into turning in just a bit. Um, uh, it's pretty lenient on when you let go of L. Um, ideally, it's about, again, seven or eight frames. Uh, if you let go of L too early, you just do that, where you're just moving slow. Um, if you let go of L too late, you'll also be... Uh, it'll be at the point of the strafe dash where you'll just slow down, so you just won't have the speed. So you want height and you want speed, basically, which is, you know, fast B press, and then that kind of timing where it's about... You know, it's BL, like that, for this dash. Like, it's just after you press B, but you want to wait just a tiny bit before you let go of L. And then the last mistake I see players make, and this is kind of the one that kind of baffles most players, I mean, myself included, I I made this mistake when I was like just trying this casually, like, hey, you know, I wonder if I can do this, is turning. Um, thankfully, this ledge isn't too, isn't too far away, so I still made it, but I do not recommend trying to turn to where you're jumping, because um, the reason we jump sideways and, like, May, and keep looking forwards while moving sideways is because Metroid Prime does not place a, a cap on your speed when you're moving left to right. 
so I'm moving at about a speed of, I think, 35, which is about three times as fast as when you normally walk. It's pretty fast. It's about as fast as Boost Ball. And if you turn forwards, you, you just, uh, you do have a speed cap when you're moving forwards and backwards. And so you'll just lose speed by turning and, uh, and facing that direction, uh, the direction you're dashing into. So, um... Now I know it's it. I know you want to look to where you're jumping. That way, you know, like, hey, like, I want to make sure I'm landing, you know, where I think I'm going, um, and 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 that's that's completely understandable. But by standing on the engine here and locking on to this specific spot, you're at the perfect position and angle where if you just look forward, like I just let go of L and, and the control stick, and I'm on the ledge. Like you don't have to do anything else. You don't have to hold forward or backwards to bend the dash. Some of you may have heard of how to do that. This dash is as straightforward as it gets it's uh, pretty lenient it's just about knowing how to dash and then knowing where to position yourself on the ship so that um you can make this dash as straightforward and simple as possible um i had the right height but i think i was a little too far forward um i think there's also a bit of collision yeah i might have gone too far to the right and then just fell off that way but um yeah that'll get you on the ledge now there's a if you don't have the uh the North American, like, 1.0 version of the game. So maybe you have uh, North American Player's Choice. It's also called NTSC for, like, any copies in, like, North America. Uh, specifically NTSC, like, uh, US or, I guess, Canada, too. North American. Um, if you have the PAL version of the game or the Japanese version of the game, so NTSC J, um, you, can't, you can't do that dash with a, with a scan badger. You have to... Um, what will happen is if you move sideways, you'll instead... Um, You'll instead just always jump like this, and it, it sucks. But there's an alternative strat you can do. So what you want to do is you want to move towards the door that goes to Artifact Temple. You're going to open the door, and then you're going to lock onto this seedling enemy here, this blue guy. Lock onto the one closest to you. You know, go out this... So you want to lock on. Um, you don't have to necessarily go in the room. Um, you just need to see him so you can lock on to him. You want to leave the door and then walk to the left of this door frame. And then walk back. If you walk back f straight in front of the door, you'll lose your lock on. Um, so I'll demonstrate it right here. So you lose your lock on if you're too far to the right. So that's why you want to move left and then move back. So I'm going to so show how you actually can do this without losing the lock on. So again, just uh, lock onto him, move left, so about to where this wall is, and then just move back. As long as you're not too far to the right, you're good. So you'll walk back towards to where the ship is. Uh, it's to my right somewhere. Okay, so what happened there was I was too far back, so let's try this again. So you won't be able to walk behind the ship, but you, that's fine. You just want to walk to the left of the ship and then jump onto the ship that way. Uh, basically, we're setting up the same dash technique, just without the scan visor. We'll be we'll be dashing off of this enemy lock on instead. So about right here or so. You want to be behind the save station. So we're gonna go onto like the engine again, and then it's just the same technique. So you know, behind the save station on the engines, and then you're gonna move right, press B, and then let go of both L and your control stick, and you'll be on the ledge. So now you can get Space Jump, or if you're playing a Randomizer, whatever items in this uh, room here, uh, without needing anything. It's pretty awesome. There's one last thing I'm going to cover, and that's for Randomizer players. Um, this item won't always be Space Jump. You may get a missile at the very beginning of the game, uh, which is nice for routing, but you won't have Space Jump to get out. And as you can take, as you can see here, I'm not jumping high enough to clear this ledge. Um, that's fine. Uh, we have a trick we can do called a Slope Jump to... Uh, Oh, excuse me, be able to escape uh, another way. So, what you want to do is you want to face the door, uh, or just face this, like, wall here. See how it kind of slopes up and down like this? You can sort of see the curve of where I'm shooting it. Well, it turns out that um, if you hold L and just move in the direction of the slope and jump while you're moving up the slope, you gain more height on your jump than if you just jump off the ground. It's pretty amazing. And so what we'll do is we'll take advantage of the slope jump. Uh, that's what the trick's called. So you're holding L. So um, while I'm facing the door, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna move upright while holding L for just a bit, and then I'm gonna let go and move uh, up left. Uh, 
and so moving upright then up left and you can sort of glide up the side of this uh, ledge here and uh, be able to escape the room that way. Uh, it's a lot easier than it looks. Uh, slope jumps are pretty easy to perform. Um, you just want you don't want to be holding upright. Well, a you don't want to be like up against a wall. You want to be sort of at the bottom of the slope and then jump up against the slope from the very bottom, and that'll get you the right. That'll get you enough height to where uh, you can jump onto this ledge and make it out of the room. Uh, I'll be linking to a couple of uh, things in the description. If you're having trouble with the dashes still, uh, uh, there's a speedrunner who goes by a big F and Eagle. He released a, a, a general like movement and tricks guide for Metroid Prime. Uh, that's awesome. I highly recommend it. Um, so I'll link to the section of the video where he explains how dashes work. Um, I've kind of covered the, the important parts of, of how to make this particular dash consistent to get to the ledge. Um, even though I just failed it. <laughs> uh, another one is... Um, Dash uh, is a dash technique video by Justin DM, and that primarily covers the timing of the dash and making sure that you're flicking the button. Um, it kind of goes over the same stuff, but a little more in depth than a Big F and Eagles video. And then I'll link to another video that has a um, this guy named Shadow Mario Three. He demonstrates how to do the uh, the version of the trick where you lock onto the enemy and then dash off the um, the lock the lock on that way without uh, being able to scan dash. Um, Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope to do more of these videos for, uh, especially for your randomizer runners out there who are looking to, you know, up your game and be able to route in a way where you can get items without needing uh, other items beforehand. Um, be it grapple beam, spider ball, uh, even gravity suit. Actually, um, this game's pretty broken. So, thanks again for watching, and I will uh, see you all later.